Hello, and welcome to another episode in the SolidWorks Composer Quick Start Guide, a series designed to orient new users in this software and familiarize them with some of its basic functionality. In the last episode, we covered the technical illustration workshop and how it can be used to create vector images. In this episode, we're going to walk through how to create high resolution images of your deliverables using the high resolution image workshop. Let's get started. To access the workshop, go to the Workshops tab and select the High Resolution Image button under the Publishing section. This will open a menu on the right side of your screen. Just like in the Technical Illustration Workshop, there is a Detail View checkbox in the High Resolution Image Workshop. Selecting it brings up a window within the viewport that you can move and resize. I'll put it over the wheel of the tracker. Clicking Create will save the selection as a 2D image within the viewport, while clicking Save As exports the selection. When the Detail View button is unchecked, the Create button becomes Preview, and the images created will be of all contents in the viewport. There are more settings that determine the details of how your image is created. The High Resolution checkbox improves the quality of your image at the cost of a larger file size. The anti-aliasing and alpha channel boxes concern the smoothness of the edges and the coloring of the image respectively. Under the High Resolution tab, there are even more options. You can remove the ground, make the background white, or adjust image quality. Quality can be selected using a slider or maximized for a specified file size. If you choose to apply anti-aliasing techniques to your image, there is an anti-aliasing tab under which you're able to modify the techniques used. There are both multi-sample and jittering options, and sliders that you can use to modify the radius and number of passes used. And that covers the basics of the High Resolution Image Workshop. Let's try using these tools to create our own image. I'll make sure the workshop is open, and then I'll move the tracker into my desired location. I just want it on a white background, so I'll check the Remove Ground and White Background options. Then, all I need to do is click Preview, and voila, we have a great looking image of our assembly. The last tool I'm going to mention is a little advanced and requires some knowledge of how to create animations in Composer, but it's well worth the effort. The High Resolution Image Workshop can actually be used as another means of producing a video in Composer. You can see that I have the animation timeline open at the bottom of the Composer window. If I go to the High Resolution Image Workshop and click the Multiple tab, you can see an animation checkbox. When I select it, an Images Per Second option and a Range Selector appear. For the sake of this example, I'll leave these settings as is. If I save our image now, you can see that Composer is working through the animation and creating each frame of the video according to the specifications we listed. If we were to take these images into an application like Movie Maker, we could use them to produce a video of our animation. Creating fantastic looking images in Composer is really that easy, but it can go a long way in convincingly displaying your product. Remember to subscribe to the SolidWorks YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the newest episodes in this series, along with other great SolidWorks content. The forums and the blog, linked in the description below, are other great resources with lots of Composer material worth checking out. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.